I don't know what's going on lately, but lately I've been really into glow. So today I got another glow tutorial for you in which we are going to make any kind of drawing, sketch, illustration, factor art glow. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so here we are in Affinity Photo and I found this very nice drawing or sketch or actually it's factor art on Google Images and I've added a paper texture to the background to make it look more interesting. Now, the first thing that I want to do is darken this image because this makes the glow pop way more. So I'm going to press Command L on the keyboard and yeah, drag the output Y level all the way to the left to darken our image a whole lot. So this looks about fine. And we can always go back into our levels adjustment layer anytime later to make adjustments. Now I want to decide what areas of my drawing I want to make glow. So in my case, it's going to be the eye, some teeth, and that's where we're going to start. So to make this glow, we're going to create a new fill layer. So I'm going to go up here to layer, um, create a new fill layer. I'm going to select a different color. So some very nice and bright green because this works pretty well with the glow. I think something like this looks about fine. And I want to create an inverted layer mask that is clipped to my fill layer. So I'm going to hold Alt or Option and I'm going to click the mask icon. And now you can see that we've actually hidden or masked out our fill layer. But this also means that if I grab my brush tool and set white as a foreground color, so not green in this case, but press D on the keyboard, you can see that I can brush back in the effect wherever I want. So. I want to make this eye glow and some of the teeth. So let's brush over these areas and let's actually start drawing our glow. In this case, I'm actually using a graphic tablet. So this makes it a whole lot easier. If you're curious what graphic tablet I'm using, you'll find the link down below in the description. All right. Now I want to make it look like I'm drawing behind the lines and not over the lines like I'm doing now. So I'm going to use blend ranges for this. So I'm going to hit this little cog wheel and I want to make sure that um, the underlying composite ranges, um, yeah, that we actually show the shadows, let's say, or the darker colors. So that's what we're doing now. And this looks about fine. So now whenever I select my mask once again and I brush over the areas that I want to make glow, you can see that it looks like we're painting underneath the lines, let's say. And this is exactly what we want. Now you see that I brushed in a little bit too much. So if I brush back with black, so I press X on the keyboard, you can see that I can brush out. Um, yeah, whatever I've painted too much. All right, this looks good to me. Um, and let's call this one base layer or base glow, sorry. Now at the very center of our glow areas, I want to brighten it up a little bit because that is really where our glow starts. So I'm going to do this with a levels adjustment layer. So I'm going to press command L on the keyboard and I'm going to drag the white level a whole lot to the left. And you can see that our green starts to look pretty yellow. And that is exactly what we want. So let's cross this off. Let's group these together so that this levels adjustment layer only affects the base glow. So I'm going to select both and press command G. And I'm going to use the inbuilt layer mask of the levels adjustment layer to paint back this yellow effect. So I'm first going to infer the layer mask by pressing command I and zoom in. Now I'm going to increase my brush size and use lower flow. So let's say 2%. And now I'm just going to brush carefully brush in. Also, I'm going to decrease the opacity. I'm carefully going to brush in, let's say some nice bright yellow center of our glow. So let's start with the teeth. This was the before and this is the after. So you can clearly see that it gets really nice and bright. So let's call this group base glow and let's go to the next step. So now we want to create a new fill layer to add, let's say, an overall glow or yeah, more overall glow. So I'm going to do so by simply copying this one or duplicating it. So I'm going to select it, press command J and drag it to the top. And remember, we added blend ranges to this one and I don't want it in this case. So I'm going to go to my cog wheel and I'm going to reset my blend ranges. I'm also going to make sure that my mask is nice and black once again. So I'm going to fill with uh, my secondary color, which I have a keyboard for which I have a keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, you can also do that by going to edit and then um, fill with secondary color if your secondary color is black. 
So what I want to do next is hide our mask for just a second. Let's zoom out a bit and we want to change the blend mode of this base glow to add. Now we're going to rename this to overall glow and now we can show our mask once again. And now we can do the same thing. So we go into our mask and we want to brush back in the effect. Now make sure your opacity is a bit lower. So I'm going to go for a 25% opacity and decrease my brush size a whole lot. And what I want to do now is just click, increase the brush size, click and increase the brush size and click. And maybe once more like so. And we want to do this for every single glow that we have. So and that looks about fine to me. I made a little mistake. This layer is actually going to be named local glow and we're going to duplicate this layer once again and I'm going to rename this one overall glow. Um, I want to make the mask nice and black once again. I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut for this, but you know how to do it without the keyboard shortcut. And what I want to use this layer for is the glow that we've just created, of course, casts light on other parts of our image. So that is what we're going to paint in right now. So I'm going to set my flow very low to about 1%, maybe 2. And with the blend mode is still set to add, we just want to paint in areas where our glow is casting on. So let's say this part of the lip. And now you can see that we have um, no blend ranges and I actually want to apply the blend ranges once again. So let's see if I can make it look like we're painting underneath. And let's actually drag this one below our local glow. There we go. All right, so now let's paint back wherever our glow is casting light on. So it's this area, that area. Uh, probably here a bit and I think my flow is way too high still which is stupid because it is set to 2% but anyways um, right here and if we brush too much we can always switch to black and yeah brush out some parts that we don't want to, to, to apply glow to okay that starts to look like something and of course it's also going to be on this part of the snake so let's paint some nice glow right around here Something like this. So let's see before and after. I think that looks pretty good. Now I want my green to be a bit brighter. So I think I'm going to create a new pixel layer. And I'm just going to paint in with white at the very center of the teeth and the eye to make it look even brighter. But now I want to apply the blend ranges once again. Now I'm going to play it a little longer with this drawing because I think it's very fun to do so. In a bit I will show you the end result but in the meantime if you enjoyed the tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and of course if you love this content overall feel very free to subscribe to the channel because we're gonna create many many more affinity photo tutorials. And if you want to learn more photo manipulation in Affinity Photo, then I highly recommend you to check out my academy, which is academy.imrenzi.com, where you can find workshops, brushes, and my master course, The Art of Photo Manipulation. All right, thank you so much for watching, and here is the end result.